Original Batman Lega Fire can pull me up blazing Me I be the one that bless me Them bag I come can't taste Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Alicia, and of course, I have another Amazon video for you guys. So shout out to the girl who actually requested me to do this one. I was a little ipsy because I don't like straight hair. I'm not really into the whole Eurocentric look. I like my kinks, I like my curls, I like my, my deep waves, I like my hair, and I usually don't go for straight hair. I mean, at least for me, I don't. But she requested that I do this one and I saw it and I thought it was nice so I picked it up. This comes from the brand Hi Baby on Amazon and this is what I picked up. This is a lace front wig. It goes back 13 by 6 inches. It does have the combs on the interior and adjustable strap. Here's a look of the construction up close. You guys can see it goes from ear to ear and 6 inches back so you're going to get a real good application. But what I'm going to do right now is go in and bleach my knots. This is completely optional. You can use foundation um, foundation powder, liquid foundation, spray tan if you do not trust yourself bleaching your knots. It's going to give you the same illusion but just not super permanent. It's going to be a little temporary. You're going to have to apply it after you wash it. But I like to go in with a 40 volume developer and my Clairol um, whitening, whitening powder and just make a nice consistency to cover up this amount of lace. I use about a scoop and a half and um, I like my consistency to be a little like sour cream very thick so it doesn't run into the lace but uh, what we're going to do right here is rinse off that bleach I like to use lukewarm water please you guys when you are rinsing out your bleach use a neutralizing shampoo I had some girl argue me and tell me that you do not have to you're wasting money yes you do okay it's better to waste money on a neutralizing shampoo which is like a dollar than to waste money on an investment like a wig and ruin it and then blame me for it so no buy a neutralizing shampoo get that bleach off i usually go in around four rounds with it just a little bit and then just to tone down that brassiness I use a little um, sh uh, purple shampoo and I leave it on the hair for around 30 minutes to an hour just to kind of reduce the amount of brassiness and your knots are perfect so you got that down okay as you guys can see how realistic it looks once you get it on it looks even more realistic but now i'm going in with a conditioner i usually don't use my silicone mix on straight hair but this is a really good conditioner it's going to keep your hair manageable also the aussie moist is a cheaper alternative and i 100 percent recommend it this is the amount of shedding that i did get girl this hair is bomb but this unit did come with a pre-plucked hairline as you guys can see you do not have to go in furthermore and tweeze if you guys see us going in furthermore and tweezing that does not mean that we are fixing the hair it has to be done because a lot of you guys say oh you got to do all that work just to put on a wig no you can wear the wig straight out the pack i would not be me if i did not customize it to make it look the way i want it to look I'm going in and just tweezing a little more of that hair. I like to tweeze in rows just to kind of give that that look of, you know, like it's being brushed back. So um, I like that look. You do not have to do it. It's very simple. I just pluck in rows. It literally takes me like five minutes and that's it. Now I'm going in and styling my unit because of all that lace and parting space I like to do a really long C part It's going to give off a really natural appearance and so that it doesn't go straight back into the wefts I like to curve it. Okay now I just use a little foaming wrap mousse just to lay the baby hairs of course you don't have to do that if you don't prefer the look but I do so I'm gonna do that on my channel okay so for those of you guys who have straight wigs, a loose wave, body wave, your natural hair, a press, anything of that nature, I 100% recommend using the Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk, I think that's the name of it. I'll link it down below. That's going to keep your hair manageable, straight, and soft. So yes. So a lot of you guys actually asked us to do a tutorial on how to cut off the lace or at least show ourselves cutting the lace in slow motion. 
So this is how I'm doing it. I do lay my baby hair, so what I do is I like to lift it with my index and hold it down and try to get as close as possible to the actual hairline. I cut in quadrants or in sections, however way you want to say it, just to make it a little easier. And as you guys can see, this is what it looks like. Um, once you mold your baby hair down with mousse, it shouldn't mess up and you can just lift it up. Definitely invest in some pointy shears that are very sharp it's going to save your life alrighty so let's talk about this cap this cap is a medium size but it fits like a large I don't know if it's just my wig but this wig definitely is big so I did sew on an elastic band to kind of keep it down if you do have a big head or a lot of hair this is going to be light for you but for me it's just a little too big you can adhere it down with some adhesives or some gotta be gels you can use a wig grip I'll link all of that down below you know you can pick your fancy but I do prefer an elastic band now I'm just going to go in and just get that lace to blend in with my complexion by just using some foundation powder this is one of my favorite, favorite investments, my flat iron. This is from Sotra. This is, I believe, their seductress flat iron. It's going to make the hair super, super sleek, shiny, soft. It's going to keep that frizz away and look how much movement it has. You know, also get that miracle milk because that's going to keep the hair from frizzing up as well. It's going to keep it looking nice and shiny and soft. But here are the angles of the hair. If I didn't mention it already, I do believe my unit is in 20 inches. And the density of this one is 150%. So it's going to go down pretty long. I'm 5 foot 8 and the 150% density is going to give you a look in between thin and thick. So it gives you that natural, natural look. But you guys can see just how natural this unit looks. That's why I'm telling you guys, this is by far one of my favorite, favorite, favorite units. So shout out to the young lady who actually requested us to review this one. Keep the requests coming. I'm loving it. This is, comes from Amazon. Hi, baby. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Into my crib, show you